Is it nice to kind of get your first at home and really your first practice underway? Obviously, it was an optional the other day. Yeah, I mean, it was great. Uh, you know, it was pretty exciting to be out there and, um, you know, just learn the systems and uh, really get out there and get a good sweat in. So, um, you know, I'm really excited to be here. The guys have been great and, you know, the coaching staff's been great. Everyone's been great. So, um, you know, I'm happy to be here and it was, a, it was a good day today. You feel any pressure when you had to shoot those pucks at the end of practice? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I felt bad for the guys. They had to do a little skate because of that. So I owe them one. Um, so, hey, Luke, how you been? How's it going? Good. Good to see you again. Um, so, just with the pace and the practice and everything, do you do you sense a difference, or was college? I mean, how did college prepare you for this moment? Uh, yeah, I think you know college prepared me very well. Um, you know, with the pace of practice, I think just the intensity is a little ramped up here, and um, you know I'm I'm very prepared for that. So, um, like I said, you know the guys have been great, and the coaching has been great, and um, you know yeah. So. Um, do you, do you think you're going to get an opportunity in one of these two games to see some action? Um, I hope so. I know I'm ready. Um, you know, I've, I've, I'm, I feel really well prepared for for playing, and you know, I'll be ready if my name gets called. So, what was the one thing that maybe really impressed you about this club when you watched them from afar? Yeah, I mean, I try to watch every game I can, and um, you know, I think just how skilled their forwards are, how quick the transition is. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty easy when you just get into their their hands and let them do their thing. So. Um, you know, I think we defend really hard, um, try to try to get out of the zone fast, um, and then you know, just their transition game so fast, and um, you know they, they turn pucks up really quick and um, really get into those guys' hands. So one of the things that uh, Coach Narado had told me about your game this year, uh, uh, your play, your decision making. Uh, improved so much from start to, uh, to the end of the season. Why was that? Was that just something that you kind of worked on? Was it something you, you through video, through the assistant coaches there? Or? Yeah, I think the, the two probably biggest factors were uh, just managing my shift, shift lengths and decisions more just because I was playing so much that, uh, you know, you kind of got burnt out if you, you know, rushed the puck every shift or anything like that. So, um, you know, just managing my decisions, managing my shifts, and then, um, yeah, I mean, the staff was great with me. I think, you know, kind of just building my game to a, to a pro-style game, just finding outlets, um, getting into my forwards' hands. So, um, you know, I think I built that part of my game a, a lot this year. So it would be um, for NHL clubs, obviously, it looks like Bedard is going to go number one in this <laughs> draft, but Fantilli's had a, an absolutely phenomenal season. I mean, what, what can you tell us that we don't already know about this kid? Yeah, I mean, I think the... 65 points or whatever he had um, speaks for itself and won the Hobie Breaker for a reason. Um, you know, I think some people don't really know about him as you know how much of a leader he is and how much of a great guy he is. So um, you know, for a young guy to come in as a freshman and you know lead our forward group the way he did, just through play and through example, um, you know, it's pretty, it pretty special to see and it was a it was a fun guy to play with. So I think Seamus Casey is another player. That that when you got here, you had that injury, so you're dealing with that. Finally get back from that and then get injured again. How, where's the frustration with that? When you, especially when you get to a new team, you're trying to acclimate yourself. Yeah, um, quite high. Uh, like you said, just just one of those years. Um, you know, that got to play three games here, but that third game, you know, I started to kind of feel myself. Still had that another year, but uh, again, you kind of you pump the brakes and it's back to step one. So, I mean, in saying that, you look small picture. Uh, you know, your health's one thing. Uh, for me to be effective, I got to be completely healthy. Uh, you know, big props to the you know the training staff, strength staff, the doctors here for kind of coming up with a plan. Like I said, getting me back ahead of schedule. Uh, and now it's time just to get out there and get some more reps in. So that's the big thing. I know it took a while for me to get here. I show up for a little bit, then I go off the grid again. But uh, I'm I'm back now. So. Uh, like I said, motivation wasn't lacking just to see what this team can do and what we're playing for. Is there a, I mean, obviously you want to play, try to get a game before the playoffs. Is it better to not get it in, or would you rather get one rep in, like, or, or does it matter? You just uh, play when you can. I, I mean, that's one thing. At this time of year, you, you can look at it both ways. Um, if if I was still not, you know, not feeling 100 percent or not ready, then absolutely you take that time. Uh, and you know, it's playoffs. You just you dump in head first. So, uh, in saying that, I mean. Your legs, your energy, and all that. I mean, adrenaline just takes over. Uh, these games are not hard to get up for, but I, I do think in my situation still, I mean, I only played three games with this team, get used to the system. So any game that I get in, uh, it's an opportunity to kind of grow and, and feel more comfortable. So we'll see what this week has to offer. Just wondering, like, what the pressure is for a young defense. I'm, you know, Luke coming in. Like, what is 
that like for a defenseman coming in? It's such a difficult position to play when you're so young. Do you remember what that was like for yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy, uh, but you know, uh, you just want to play as much games as possible, you know, uh, just get the feeling to play uh, in the NHL, to play the system and everything, be familiar with your teammates and uh, you know, it's good that he's around so he can uh, get used to uh, to his teammates, uh, to the system, to the coaches and everything, to the whole environment. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think he's a good enough uh, player. Uh, he's proven that uh, a lot and uh, I don't think it's going to be uh, hard for him because, uh, you know, he's, he's smart, smart defenseman. Uh, he skates well and uh, yeah, I think uh, he's... Uh, it's pretty much made for it. How much is like understanding your surroundings when you first come into the league? Almost is it almost like half the battle? Just feeling comfortable in a way. Oh uh, yeah, basically, you know, uh, for sure, you know, it's for me. It wasn't easy uh, as, as a European, uh, but yeah. you know, uh, Luke has his has, has Jack here as well, so I think I'm pretty sure he helps him a lot, and uh, uh, you know, and we we have a good, a good group here. Uh, we, we, we try to make him uh, feel comfortable here in the team and, uh, you know, I think uh, a player plays at his best if he's comfortable, if, he's, uh, if he feels uh, comfortable and uh, so that's what we're trying to do with him and, uh, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a good guy as well. Problem is that he didn't do too good on that uh, and, and they're making you guys skate a couple laps. Yeah, yeah, but you know it's oh, good it, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We we'll, we'll skate for him, uh, so uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, just when it comes to these final two games, obviously there's some real significance for you guys in terms of going into the postseason on a good note, but also making sure you're staying where you are in the standings. How do you sort of look at these next two games for yourselves? I think you know. Yeah, I think next game uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be big, uh, you know. We we just want to win that game, uh, get a get home ice, and uh, yeah, you know. It's uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna be ready for it. Uh, we know it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a big game for both teams, and uh, yeah, we just want to win that, get home ice, and then uh, yeah, then we're then we're happy. Thanks, thanks. Lindy, a couple guys missing from practice today. Um, I know Dougie's sick. Do you have any update on how the other guys are doing? Um, well. Michael's being evaluated for the uh, the hit uh, the other night. Uh, Halla is just uh, still in maintenance, so he skated on his own earlier today. Did you miss anybody? Nope, you got it. And Dougie's just sick, right? And Dougie's just, just sick. sick. Yeah. Um, encouraging to see that uh, Curtis Lazar is out there. He was telling us that you know maybe a little bit of ahead of schedule seems to be feeling good. Yeah, uh, you don't get another body back in. Um, we don't know uh, what Mike's status is going to be, so obviously um, him getting back into full practice is a, a big step in the right direction. First opportunity to really host a full practice with Luke. What did you see from him and just that adjustment period it takes for a young defenseman to get involved? Yeah, you know what? I, you know, I thought uh, good practice. Uh, you know, a lot of what we, we expected to see. Uh, a good skater. We had some drills where you know you really get to watch him, and I, I thought he handled uh, the pace of play. I think probably if you asked him, he, he's probably not used to that type of speed. But for the most part, I thought he handled everything well. He said that uh, there was a little bit of pressure there when he had to put that puck in the net, right in the ice. He, uh, he actually told me that he he thought the guys were a little out of shape and they needed a little extra skate, so <laughs> he missed on purpose. So that's what he told me. He said, I'm just going to keep missing until the team gets in better shape. You tell me when, coach, right? Yeah. So I think the guys will be glad to hear that. <laughs> Lindy, where, where is this team right now? you got two games remaining um, in the regular season. Do you like what you're seeing? Are there little tweaks here and there, improvements that you want to see, and what might they be? Um, you know, I think you look at uh, our last three games, uh, pretty good place. Uh, you look at, I thought Boston was a, it was a tough game where we battled hard uh, uh, to, to get back in it. We had our opportunities. I think going through the game, the some of the odd-numbered rushes that we left out there that we didn't get chances off of, that uh, we didn't take advantage of, the power, power play, I think let us down. So I think... Uh, 
probably special teams uh, looking to make a difference. I think that would have been the, you know, it, it helped them win a game. It could have helped us tie the game at least. Should we expect uh, Vitek, McKenzie, maybe to get one of the starts in each of these last two games? Or? Um, you know, we're gonna we're just gonna take it a game at a time here, uh, and we'll we'll go from there. May I ask you if uh, Luke will play one of these last two games? You may ask. Yeah. Scout, that's my question. <laughs> uh, Luke will play. Yeah, Luke will play. Pardon, I didn't. Has it exceeded your expectations defensively from the beginning of the season to today? Well, you know, it, it was a huge focus uh, for us, and I think that I think we've surprised a lot of people with where we're at defensively. Uh, it's something that we we continue to work on. We work on on that part of our game every day, and we realize that if we're going to be successful, we got to play well uh, away from the puck. If you're if you're going to win in the playoffs, you have to, you have to be able to, to win the tight games. You have to be able to win the low-scoring games. Uh, so I, I think you go from the year before to this year, uh, we're in a lot different place defensively than, than where we were at. Sometimes I'm mad. <laughs> um, you know, I think that we have a real receptive group, and I think when you you talk about things you need to improve, uh, we really try to go out and try to improve. Uh, you know, sometimes I think, and I it's a little bit of an area that we really gotta take a step forward in as we sort of ease into games. I think the first period has probably been the, the most frustrating period for me. Um, although, you know, you look at the, the Ranger game, you look at the Columbus game, you know, we showed signs of coming out of it. Uh, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot the last game again. We take an early penalty, um, and that gave them some life. Uh, you know, I think when you're, you're playing a team, and we've been a good road team, when you stay out of the penalty box, uh, you know, for a period of time, especially early on in a game, uh, you don't fuel the other team's top offensive players. Uh, I thought we gave them some life with that. <laughs>